Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining in today's Ask the Expert webcast entitled Detecting Advanced Threats and Malware with SIM, sponsored by Nitro Security. I'm Katrina Deal with the SANS Institute and I'll be moderating today's webcast. Today's speakers are Dave Shackelford, SANS GIAC Technical Director and Author Instructor of SANS Virtualization Security Training, and Jeremy Conway, Senior Security Analyst for Nitro Security. In today's presentation, we'll cover technologies, techniques, and best practices for effective threat detection and timely incident response using high-performance SIM systems. It's my pleasure to introduce our first featured speaker, Dave Shackelford. Hey, thanks, and uh, thanks everybody for showing up today. Um, actually, today is going to be fun because Jeremy and I, Jeremy and I are, uh, we're, we're going to basically just do this thing together. So we're going to talk through a bunch of different use cases, kind of explain, uh, you know, what's going on out there in the world of SIM, uh, demonstrate some really, really cool detection techniques and correlation capabilities, uh, in particular using Nitro security technology. So really going to be fun stuff. Um, absolutely going uh, gonna to be a good time for everybody involved. Uh, I know I'm going to be having an enormously good time, and I think I can speak for Jeremy as well. So, uh, you know, I'm sure you guys have been staring at this awesome pilot slide for entirely too long. Let's move on. And let me just kind of kick things off and, and preface the, uh, you know, kind of theme of the webcast today, especially as we're talking about dealing with, uh, you know, more advanced threats, which, you know, everybody's heard all the hype out there in the news, and, and you know, hype or not, it, it's reality, right? So people are dealing with these advanced, uh, you know, issues that, aren't necessarily just, uh, you know, the same things from yesterday where you had people making a lot of noise, you had attackers, uh, you know, script kitty types that were just interested in, you know, kind of really just wreaking havoc. No longer the case. Now you've got, you know, insider threats that are, uh, you know, leaking data out because they're either stealing or, you know, whatever. You've also got, um, you know, situations where there are real, uh, you know, well-funded adversaries purposefully trying to infiltrate environments to gain access to, see, you know, secret data, you know, intellectual property or payment card data or national secrets for that matter, or whatever the case might be. So the, the landscape has changed a lot. Now, getting to our slide, you got a lot of data. Uh, it's actually more difficult than ever to weed through all this stuff and figure out what's actually happening in your environment. So uh, as though it wasn't difficult enough to actually detect and then do something about these advanced threats that we're dealing with, now you've got, you know, more and more advanced technologies You've got uh, all these other kind of security best practices that we've been preaching for years, which, hey, they're fundamental. Uh, you know, this notion of defense and depth, so from, you know, kind of a defensive and offensive side, are, are they're critical. You've got to do vulnerability scans. You've got to take that data and do something useful with it. You've got to lock your system down, so you've got system configuration information. You've got inventory information as far as, you know, where your systems are, uh, especially when you get into, you know, virtual systems where you have new systems easily cropping up all over the place. And you've got kind of your more traditional controls, so network security, firewalls, and IDS, and IPS. Uh, you've got behavioral monitoring. You may be using flow data uh, or, you know, even purpose-built uh, behavioral monitoring solutions. You've got all these other host-based security controls. And then, of course, on top of all of that, you've got kind of a classic, which is log data. So all those things go together. What comes out? What are you going to actually do with all that data to be able to provide some intelligible, uh, you know, actionable type of uh, response efforts? So that's really the point of this webcast today. We're going to talk through all of that data and what you can actually do to detect some of the more advanced things going on today. So, you know, I'll just kind of briefly describe what the heck SIM is, and then, you know, I'll, you know, I'll turn it over to Jeremy, and we'll start going back and forth, but really walking through some of the things that people are seeing out there. So um, the first thing to understand, just security information and event management, although this is something that we've been talking about for years, a lot of people don't really understand exactly what it is. In fact, uh, you know, I've even heard people refer to SIM solutions as log management solutions on steroids. Whether or not you think that's really the case, right, I'm here to dispel the myth. A true SIM solution does a whole heck of a lot more than just log management plus plus. So log management may, may be a component of this. And in fact, uh, you know, a lot of logs are certainly tied into what SIM does today. But you've got to aggregate those logs You've got to be able to put them together in a meaningful fashion to normalize them so that uh, a system can understand and parse through that data quickly. You've got to be able to correlate those different data points across huge numbers of disparate data types to make some sense of the activities going on. So, for instance, if I've got, you know, a connection coming in over VPN to, you know, somebody logging in on another system to a certain event that's occurring on a database, server, et cetera, et cetera, and they all have completely different log types. Well, nonetheless, 
those events and those logs have to be normalized into a fashion that I can correlate together and, and create some sort of actual story from. So, you know, the major factors that uh, people are really considering in SIM solutions today, first thing, operational efficiency, uh, efficiency right? So I want to make sure that this is not adding significant overhead to my security organization. It's great to get new technology, particularly new technology that adds uh, significant capabilities to monitoring and, uh, you know, response efforts. However, if it requires 14 people to maintain and drive these systems over time, probably not a good use of your uh, investment dollars. The other aspect is, of course, wrangling things like log management because, that, you know, log management in and of itself is great, but the question always becomes, well, what can I leverage with all those logs? What can I do with those logs? Add the uh, compliance mandates on top of that, so particularly around things like PCI where you've got very specific technical requirements and review requirements around those logs and around just security events in general, well, now you really are starting to look at a deeper problem and, uh, you know, have to address things, you know, not only, again, for, for security operations, but for the larger picture of business and compliance as well. So then it's kind of the evolution of, of two technologies. You've got security event management, so you're collecting, you're aggregating a bunch of events, and then you've got information management. And so the two are not necessarily the same at all. The information is what derives from the event. So you've got events that are, you know, again, log data, IDS events, vulnerability scans, and, and the data that comes out of those, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then, of course, you've got whatever story you tell from that data. So that's the information. I'm enriching it. I'm normalizing it. I'm correlating it. And ultimately coming out with something that makes sense to me. So moving on. Let me hand this over to Jeremy to kind of talk about this concept of context awareness. 